Hi everyone, Ashley here. Wanted to do another tutorial on what's a quick and an easy way to spice up a look. Maybe if you're going out at night or you want to be a little bit more elegant, this is definitely something that I do. Um, here it is from the back. It is an up, just a, you know, your traditional little pump on the front. And then it goes back into um, bobby pins with a little crisscross on the back. So it's something that's really nice, especially for a night look. It's um, classy, it's simple. So what you're gonna need for this look is a brush just to smooth out your hair. You're gonna need hairspray, whichever hairspray you use. This one is Sebastian Shaper, amazing. It's not um, too strong of a hold, so I love it. You're gonna need your wrap tail comb and your just regular comb you can get anywhere. And you're gonna need some bobby pins. Now my hair is already lightly curled, so um, you can do it straight, you can do it curled, you can add more curl than this. So if you're interested on how to recreate this tutorial, keep watching. Don't forget like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. All right, Mwah. bye guys. First, I'm taking my hairspray. Whatever you have is just fine. This is Sebastian Shaper, and I'm just taking my regular comb. And I'm going to take a small section just on the top of my hair. I don't want to tease the back like I usually do, so just on the very, very top. And I'm going to hairspray and tease. You can look back on our video on how to tease your hair that gives you some great pointers on exactly what to do. Just up and down motions. You don't want it to be too big. You could always customize it, make it as big as you want, but I'm not going for crazy dramatic. Just a little bit of tease is what I'm looking for today. Make sure at the end that you're fanning your hair out so that your tease is even all the way throughout instead of just on the top of your head. Make sure that you have enough hair in the front that you're not going to have a rat's nest when you pull it back. So I just gently tease that top layer. No hairspray needed for that top one and smooth it back. Now with my thumbs, right about where my eye, the middle of my eyebrow is, is where I'm going to make my first section. And I'm just going to smooth it back with a comb. Make sure everything just looks polished and refined. And I'm just going to gather it in the back with my fingers and crisscross bobby pin it. Don't worry, later on with the twist, you'll be hiding the bobby pins. So you're fine, just crisscross them, do them as close to the base as possible of your head so that they, it has a good hold for the whole day. All right, now that you've done that, with my pointer finger, I just run it from the corner of my ear up and grab a section. Um, on a lot of people's hair, it's a little bit finer there, so don't worry. That's why I'm teasing, just to add a little something, but not too much tease. Now I'm just gonna twist. You can twist either way, up or down, or it's also really nice if you lay it without a twist. So either way looks really, really nice. And I'm gonna cross it completely over the bobby pins that I've created previously. So just set it down and as best as you can put it through your twist so that you're hiding the bobby pins so that you don't have um, a bunch of bobby pins in the back of your hair showing after your style is all completed. Same thing on the other side. With your pointer finger grab a section and you are going to just gently spray it, gently tease it and you're going to lay it over the other section. As much as you can, fill up space so that you're covering those first two bobby pins that you laid down. There you go. Make, if you need two bobby pins on each um, cross to make sure that it's secure, that's totally fine. I only used one. Um, and make sure that you're hiding your bobby pins. Pull your hair down, pull those little twists down to kind of cover. 
And now I'm just gonna go back through and I'm gonna make sure that everything is smooth. Now I wanted mine a little bit bigger and fuller in some areas, so I just took the edge of my rat tail comb and I just put it through and kind of lift it gently. You can do that, you can make it as big as you want or you can smooth it and polish it down. And finish with some hairspray. Here's the look, hopefully you enjoy it.